Um, I'm Robert Crook. I'm the CATSI's Technical Director of Chemical Sciences. CATSI are a small chemical research organisation. We support our clients and our partners um, in delivering pharmaceuticals to the market. We're very focused on the active ingredient that goes into those. Currently, we have about eight laboratories based in, in Cardiff. We've got some really fantastic cutting edge laboratories, great quality fume cupboards, great space to work in. As well as having a great space and great people, you also need great equipment as well. So as you can see next to me here, we've got a, we've got a Maya 4. The Maya 4 is a, is a piece of kit which really allows us to collect high quality data. Because at the end of the day, what you need in science, data drives all the decisions that you make. The quality of that data is really important. So having high quality controlled automated lab reactors like the Maya 4 is really important to allow us to deliver business. So my name is Charlotte Dalton. I'm a technical project manager here at CatSci. My role is to technically lead the projects that our customers bring in. Our customers are very keen on parallel experimentation. Obviously, they want to get the most value for the work they're doing here at CatSci. Uh, so by allowing my scientists to use the Maya 4 and by having that in-house, that really gives us a chance to get through the experiments quickly, compare things side by side, and really give a full picture to the customer so they can understand what's going on with their chemistry. Before we had those, we did find we were doing a lot of kind of one-off experiments and obviously setting things up in round bottom flasks is quite difficult. Um, it's a lot of space for the scientists to have to set up multiple round bottom flasks. It can be quite fiddly to do that. So by having the Maya 4, it's a, more of a platform where they can set up multiple experiments at once. And as a project leader, I am comfortable to say to them, go and set up these three or four experiments. I know they've got the equipment to be able to do that. And with the reactor ready, again, it's about flexibility. So myself and the other project managers, previously we were finding we had to do a lot of planning over who's using which vessel if they are fixed sizes. Whereas now we've got more flexibility to be able to have different projects running in vessels at the same time and not have as many clashes with the equipment. My name is Elise. Uh, I'm a senior scientist. I work in the material science department at CATSci. In the material science department, we mainly do crystallization. So we use it to scale up uh, crystallization. So we usually heat, cool, try to form crystal, sometimes add anti-solvents. And the reactor ready are really great for us because the lids are adapted to the blaze probe, which means we can follow the crystallization uh, live. My name is Lloyd Murphin. I am a senior scientist here at CATSI. Uh, I work within the process invention team here. So my job is taking chemistry from the small scale and uh, showing our clients how we can scale it up, get it into vessels, and then eventually translate it hopefully to plant scale. One of the nice benefits of using Reactor Ready is just how easy everything is to piece together. Manually trying to set up a vessel is quite difficult, but being able to uh, quite easily adjust your overhead stirrer, uh, getting that set up appropriately, getting really nice agitation. You don't hear things clunking around. Um, they run really quietly. The changing over of vessel is probably my favorite. It is very easy, one person job, uh, and very clean. I think that's my main, <laughs> my, main my favorite thing is, um, yeah, I, I change other vessel over and you usually get a lot of oil spill, um, which is not very fun to clean. So with Reactor Ready, it's much easier. 